Hello YouTube, welcome to part two. We're finished with this. These don't match exactly. I cut this at an angle. I had pictures before I cut this off. I did not like the look of this. And when you have a trailer hooked up, the tongue I want it to be able to swing as far as it can without hitting out here. Because it would hit right here. It gives me a little more turning radius. There we go. This is two and a half inch angle iron, two and a half inch wide. Pieces were a foot long. I can't really tell you what these are, but that was some scrap, three eighths inch thick, half inch bolts. This is two inches by one inch. One inch thick, two inch wide. And this is probably 14 inches across. These are half inch holes. In case we want to add something later or put a clevis on here with a chain or something, you don't have to take your ball off. You don't have to wrap nothing around your draw bar. So it's kind of like a real tractor. They, a lot of them had extra holes for different implements. But it gets me away from my battery when I hook up. It sets just a little bit higher. The other one, the ball, the, where the ball sits right here, would probably been just a little below. So it's an inch or so higher up. You don't get the frame there. Interest so higher up from where it used to be. There you go. I'll give you some photos. We're finished. We've been doing this in and out of the rain. We keep having rainstorms the past few days. So we're finally done. Thanks for watching.